Welcome to Riverbend Talent on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Also brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Boris of Macias Insurance. Another Thursday night, another edition of Riverbend Talent on the Big Z and the Sea Shanty Sing Along underway every Thursday night right here in the Riverbend down at Morrison's Irish Pub. And we have tonight to talk about the Mississippi Earth Tones Festival again. Yeah. That's because I didn't turn you Ah, up. there it is. <laughs> well, you know, that way you can't interrupt my little intro. Ah. It's always like almost 30 seconds, so I know it's hard for you to like be quiet that long. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm not made that way, man. I'm not wired to shut up when I'm, even when I'm supposed to. I, I was having all kinds of trouble over here. Yeah, no, that that's uh, uh, no, no worries, but Earth Tones, man, what is it, like the 80th year? I mean, At least it's been going on since the beginning of time. I don't think we had parts of the city here even back when this started. Matter of fact, Dave was telling me that uh, it was in some field somewhere out in the middle of nowhere or something. <laughs> I think the first. I, I think if if I if I remember correct, I think the first one was up at like Riverview Park uh, because they couldn't get any other place, and then they they were able to uh, to move it downtown to the downtown area. And so uh, our guests tonight are. Yeah, we've got Dave Casper from Jake's Leg. What's going on, Mr. Dave? Not much. Really oh, happy to be here. Oh, we got a mic on him. Let's yeah, yeah. pushing all these buttons. Pushing all them buttons. Lights. Yeah, there you we go. How, how you uh, lean in a little, see if we can hear you. There you bet. Oh, there he is. There, there we he go. Is. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm here. I'm awake. I'm awake. Wake, wake it up. Wake <laughs> it up. Shake it up. Uh, we have had the other members of Jake's Leg in the studio, but this is a. Uh, this is the first time. There will be some hazing before the hour's over. I'm, I'm ready for it. Right, it's probably you're going to be hazing me. It's, it's, uh, it's well, fine. I'm going to that. The, Thank you, sir. May I have another? Glad they, <laughs> I'm glad they sent the good-looking one because uh, we're on video this time. Ah, oh, they boy, sent the eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of eye candy, oh. we got eye candy in, in the booth. Oh, Mr. Jason Gordon coming back to the show. Hey, how you uh, doing? Yeah, suddenly I've got Rod Stewart's Do You Think I'm Sexy playing in my head. And <laughs> it's on a loop, man. Yeah, it should have been the intro music now. Yeah, next time you'll know. <laughs> What's up, cowboy? Welcome. Oh, you know, same old stuff, man. Good to be here. Yeah, welcome uh, welcome to town. How's uh, how's the Phoenix, greater Phoenix area treating you? Oh, man, I'm sure it's hot right now, but it's uh, it's an awesome place to be in the winter for sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you uh, you live right on the edge of the desert. We live right in the desert, yep, north, yeah. just north of Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a cold place to be in the evenings and a hot place to be in the day. That's for sure. Yeah. Never too cold, though. It's beautiful there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, you can I, dodge the rattlesnakes. I, well, yeah, you, you know, you sent me a picture. J- Jason sent me a picture uh, a couple weeks oh, back did, of, of a rattlesnake that. that he had uh, found just, uh, like, in your driveway. You he were found me. Down. I didn't find him. Hey, I you, didn't even see him. You said you were bending down, unlocking your bike that was, like, locked up, like, in your carport. Or in, well, in just your, right outside or, the door, right man. Outside I was the door. Just, and it's about, that's about the fifth time I've come outside to a big old rattler right outside the door. Yeah. You said he was looking you right in the eye pretty much. Oh, he, we were eye to eye. He was a foot from my face. I was down at ground level doing my un, unchaining my bike to go for a ride, and he didn't. He never rattled. Never acted aggressive. He was just. He was huge. Yeah. Fifteen rattles he had on him. Massive snake, man. I'm terrified of snakes. That would have. I. I would have fainted and hit. Him. <laughs> yeah. Passed out and fell right into him. Got bit for sure. Oh. If the snakes didn't get poor Dave, the the. the the, the birds would have they would have, they would have found his passed out body circling and <laughs> right. flew they, off with him uh, yeah. so so both of these gentlemen will be per, uh, performing at the uh at the mississippi earth tones uh jake's leg returning for the umpteenth time i i believe if my history is correct jake's leg has played every earth tones with the exception of one and it was simply a scheduling conflict that happened i believe that's right and then the covid one but i don't even think did you guys even have that uh, I, that year i, I don't think yeah. i think it just but, got left right. on the table but i think you're no. right we've only missed yeah. one and we played the very first one yeah Out absolutely park you were talking about. yeah R- riverview park was yeah. the uh the first one and that was 17 18 years ago it's been it's been been a minute yeah. so congratulations to sarah mcgibney for keeping it going that long her she's and her awesome. her and her crew yeah she's yeah. she's amazing at it so uh 
Jake's leg again coming back for the for the uh, and, and moving uh, back into the amphitheater, which it had been there, and then it, it moved out to the streets for a few years, and here we are heading back to the amphitheater. Uh, so <clears throat> big, big stage. I heard you having a, a little conversation with the. Uh, Alex Honky, who's going to be the sound engineer that evening, and he's going, hey, there's a lot of clap slap back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very live stage, it is. Yeah, yeah, that big canopy is a very, uh, it, it's reflective of, of sound. So true. Yeah. yeah. We love it there, though. It's awesome. Awesome. I mean, I like playing the block block party to the, uh, yeah. the streets, but uh, yeah, the amphitheater's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So, And, and uh, you guys closing out tonight, I think uh, it, it starts with Lofty's Comet. Uh, playing first, and and then in between bands, Mr. Jason Gordon's going to be form, performing. So that's yep, yep. the uh, you, we're going to call you Sideshow Bob yes, tonight. That's, that's, that's <laughs> you, about right. You are the Sideshow. I expect <laughs> to see a duck walk. Oh, you got it, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, may fall down. Well, one thing I know about sideshows is the midnight show always gets the dances get a little hotter, the music <laughs> gets a little faster, yep. uh, skirts get a little shorter. I'm just saying, I'm expecting a lot, sir. I'll try, <laughs> I'll try to uh, not disappoint. I mean, I'll wear the shortest skirt I can. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to come out all Samantha Fish style. You know it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'll stay till the end for that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cowboy hat and a short skirt. I, yeah, I, I, nothing yeah. sexier than that. You know? I can see it. Well, that's what the rattlesnake was thinking, that's too. Probably, that's what threw the where rattlesnake. Where do you think I got the hat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, you're going to be uh, uh, doing your one-man band show like you do where you, you use a looper and you put songs together. You play guitar right. and bass and drums and vocals and do all yep. basically just construct songs which is a great learning experiment for anyone who's never seen it done it's pretty uh pretty interesting that's a learning experience for me that's been the best teacher i ever had was the loop pedals yeah <laughs> for sure it, it it uh it took you away from from having uh, guys like stubblefield back you up where you're just kind of singing and playing some little keyboard and it, <laughs> where you're like okay i can do all of this i'm gonna do that that's tough because that's a lot of shoes to fill on stage well it is but it's a it's a challenge it keeps me honest doing it live like that but i will say man i i miss those days jamming with stubblefield matter of fact i went and saw matt tall last night playing up yeah. at bakers and hell and he just sounded as awesome as ever man yeah he's he's going to be uh, performing with your brother Right. At Framley Fest, yeah. You mentioned that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I, I heard they had a little uh, a little thing going on there, and I yep. was like, well, we got to see that. I got to see it. Yeah. I got to yeah. see it. Oh, it'll be fun. Uh, so there you go. You're going to be playing. So Lofty's, uh, Lofty's Comet, I believe, starts the show, and then Jason Gordon's going to do a set while we tear Lofty's Comet down, yep. and we're putting nonstop reggae up. They're going to do a little bit, and then Jason Gordon does another set while mm -hmm. we put Jake's leg up. So it's going to be quite the magnificent night, and we'll get deeper into all of that, but I think we should uh, let everybody know about what's happening around town because things are, are already uh, spouting up. Like uh, you mentioned, the Sea Shanty Sing Along, that starts at 6 p.m., so they're probably already drunk on Irish whiskey and falling out of chairs and singing and having a good time. So it, you're only 10 minutes behind. You can still catch up if you want to get down there. What else we got going on this evening, Mr. Dennis? Well, we got Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues. <laughs> Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues. All right. Eight o'clock at the uh, conservatory. <laughs> what you know. do they put? <laughs> <laughs> they, they do uh <laughs> they do Jake's legs cover. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could uh, go check them out. Yeah. <laughs> We're busy. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it. They play. Uh, what else we got? We got 1055. Uh, that's at the conservatory, by the way. The, right, yeah. the Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues. That we starts at 8 p.m. this evening at the conservatory. Oh, I keep thinking that's me, but I don't think it is. Sorry, guys. That's all right. It's all right. Everheart and Light doing the open mic out of Bakers and Hale uh, in Godfrey. Started at 6 and later tonight, 9 o'clock, at the Raging Cajun and Altman open mic. And we got Nick Sturgis going at George's local brew up in Jerseyville. Right. And uh, we missed 1055. Oh. From 7 to 11. You just thought that was a phone number, huh? I, I was at that was so many numbers I wasn't sure what to do with it. I thought that, that's my inmate number. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so 1055. It's uh, Fast Eddie's, by the way. 
Yeah, 1055 going 7 to 11. So you see what I mean? That's a lot of numbers. Yeah. 1055 going from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. down at Fast Eddie's a bone hair. Then in the Edwardsville area, we got Lanny and Julia, Big Daddies. Yeah. That's it. And then Briar Creek down at uh, Deutz Village Inn at Pontoon Beach from 7 to 11. Out in Prairie Inn, at, at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey, Illinois, the Come Closer Duo. And then, uh, man, the Experience Live Music Row, of course, been going on all summer long out in Belleville. And uh, it's if you haven't heard us talking about it, man, all the ba- all the bars got together and have been doing this all summer long where five or six bars each night have music going on. And they uh, they try to work together to schedule it around each other. So it's got a it. lot to mention. So if you want to know what's going on with that, just simply go to cottonmouth.org and check out the, uh, the list of stuff going on there. Yeah, cool thing. Got a sponsor and everything. So that's awesome to see a city get behind each other and uh, back music. Yeah, they're 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 uh, causing a scene. They have been the uh, the entire summer there, and, and now they're on their second sponsor. So, whoever's putting it together, good for you. When we first seen it, job. we have to admit we're like, you think they're going to be able to keep this up every week? I didn't think they would. Sure enough, they did, and changed sponsors midstream. So, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of work to to have uh, five to six bars participating in something like that, going four to five nights a week all summer it's a lot of musicians playing a lot of uh, good times had by the patrons so uh good job whoever in belleville is taking care of that uh, all right well, there you go that's our thursday night i think in the uh where the river does bend <laughs> yes and and travel north for a second they it runs backwards it's, yeah, yeah. When, hey, people, everyone who lives where the river runs backwards is always just a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say backwards. Huh? Well, I think <laughs> I was trying to lead oh, everybody to think that backwards is better. <laughs> You're right. In some cases, <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, four. Yeah, it makes me think of New Madrid when that thing let loose last time. The river did flow backwards. Yeah, oh, that must have been wild. Makes me think of how the toilets go backwards in Australia and it actually comes back up instead of going down. So Speaking like you don't have right. anything in your toilet, you push the button and there's a pile for you. That's what I understand. Well, I, just, I heard they run backwards in Australia. I don't know. Bizarre. Is that the kind of stuff you got to clean up in the river for the uh, Mississippi Earth Tones? I, yeah, let me tell you, I don't know if you ever <laughs> if you ever go and like walk over uh, across the river on the trails over there uh, on Ellis Bay. But there is a ton of trash that comes out of that river. I don't even know where the heck it all comes from. Uh, like, I, you're just going there, like, tires and stuff. How, how did a tire get in the river? Uh, you know, I mean, and then it, that's that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much. They they uh, have done that for years now where they spend an entire day cleaning up the river. That's what the Earth Tones is really all about. Yeah. Uh, the, the party is, the festival is sort of the celebration afterwards for uh, for cleaning up the river. So, uh, that, and again, big kudos to uh, the crew that puts that on Sarah McGivney and uh, all the people from the Sierra Club. Uh, so, uh, not just for the party, which I love, <laughs> but I am cleaning up the river and saving it because uh, I do walk out there, and man, it is, uh, it's, it's quite a job. Me and my wife spent an hour cleaning just about a 40 to 50 foot strip out here uh, across from the Pisaw bird uh, mm-hmm. on a Saturday. And it, 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 we were worn out. We picked up so much stuff. So it's amazing. Stop putting your stuff in the river, people. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Especially everybody north of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then after, uh, I, I think they actually, it used to be that they would take boats out in the river in the morning and spend several hours, spend all morning cleaning up the river, and then the party would right. start in the afternoon. But there's so much uh, yeah. work to do, not only cleaning up the river, but to throw a party this size. Uh, it's it's a lot of work to, to put it together. So they've split it into a couple of days now. Uh, I don't know. Which day are they cleaning up the river? Do you know? I'm not sure. I'm, I, 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 I know uh, Sarah told me, but I, I'm... Well, you know, I pre-gamed a little too much. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Sarah, for letting us know. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, you, I'm sure uh, you know you can you can find out by uh, going on the uh, Sierra Club 
uh, website. I'm sure that would have all that sort of information. Or just go maybe to the Earth Tones uh, Facebook page would probably have it. Also, uh, if you want to get involved in the river cleanup portion, because that's uh, it's important to get the volunteers to go out and do that to justify the party later. Yeah, and I would think that's Mississippi Mississippi Earth Tones probably comes up when you search anywhere. Right? Yeah. It's been yeah. so many years now, and uh, there's only one Mississippi. There's yeah. only one Earth Tones that I know of around here, so... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there you go. Uh, you can check that out. And then, of course, uh, the big party happening uh, Saturday, September 17th. And, uh, man, Jake's leg back for the – we're going to go ahead and say it's the 17th time. I'm just going to make a number up. Make it up. It's, yeah. It works for me. F- fake news. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> it's been a lot of. Uh, it's been a lot of times. I don't know the exact number. To your point, we'll use seventeen. Yeah, yeah. There you Sarah go. Sarah won't <laughs> mind if we're off a couple of dates. Yeah. Uh, and and Jake's leg. So uh, there are countless Grateful Dead cover bands. There's probably more Grateful Dead cover bands than any other type of uh, of tribute band, and it's because. Their money own, well <laughs> a lot of people uh miss the great dispensary unit <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people you know uh, followed the dead they they sold more concert tickets than any other band right. for four decades they were the biggest uh, selling uh, uh band so of course there's there's a lot of fans out there that you know every city's got two or three right. uh dead bands so that being said i say that to lead into this story uh, I play in a band with a, a gentleman. Uh, he doesn't live around here. He lives in Bloomington. His name is Jeff Lair. Big, big deadhead. And he uh, he's... I, I do a little festival called Framley Fest, and he came to that the first year, and, and, and we had Terrapin Flyer. Playing yeah. with Melvin Seals. Sure. Oh, great, nice. great show, you know. Nice. And he goes, I, I don't like dead cover bands. They, they just... It's not the same. And then we saw... Over the years we saw several and he's like i just don't like it and then one day we were at the old rock house seeing oh, i forget the girl's name now i was seeing some girl who was coming through town and uh afterwards we went to broadway oyster bar for a little after party and i didn't even say hey it's jake's leg it's a grateful dead cover band because i thought he's gonna just go oh why are we even going here and i want to go <laughs> and we went in there we watched the entire night we stayed till closing time and he walked out with a smile on his face and i said man you seem awful happy for a guy who don't like grateful dead cover bands and he goes those guys do it good <laughs> and I, he's a and i say that because he's a very tough nut to crack he's yes. a tough critic uh and and when i informed him i said well you know uh the Dead started in 65, and, and, and Jake's leg started in 75. So they, they're, right only, on they're, they're only 10 years behind those guys in playing their music. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, uh, you, were, you, you managed to win a fan that night. Love it was it. A, a tough one to win. Love it. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> so. To your point, too, real quick, uh, you talk about when they started, when we started. We did the math, and we've played – many more shows than the grateful dead <laughs> over the years so that's kind of interesting which is actually easy to do because yeah. you're local and you can play three four nights a week but uh thought yeah. that was always funny well it, and i believe had they not had side projects i don't think the tour would have ever stopped i think you're right you know if there if there wasn't an olden in the way and a jgb and a rat dog and and, and you know uh, all of these things because they a couple of deaths you know that slowed things down that unfortunately did. well yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think uh tomorrow is uh, uh would be celebrating ron uh mckernan's birthday pig uh, pen yeah, pig he's pen. the real pig pen he's the real pig pen yeah i have stole my name from him and I, i'm okay with it <laughs> you know bobby weir told me i am now pig pen in their eyes so we can't you, verify you, that you, but. oh you absolutely <laughs> can verify it. I think I, you got I, you got the interview i think i got it on tape okay that's good uh, nah. we can verify it Big Ben yeah, it is. There you go. Uh, now, the, you, that's not the tape where you told me, right? Because that don't count, Big Ben. It's got to be him. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to know? <laughs> uh, you can check well, out. Well, you know, sometimes Pig Ben's just flying off, right? You don't know if he's telling you the truth or if he's got a different memory than everyone else <laughs> listen all i'm doing is trying to make this story more interesting than last time i told it <laughs> i mean love it. gordo you're 
your name's changed already. He does that with almost every band that comes in. He's like, yeah, tonight you're going to be this. And, you know. <laughs> right, and well. sometimes he does it and like thinks he's right. Yeah. Oh, you guys are the Red Doses. I am sure of that. <laughs> Dude, no, red the dose, dead, dead roses, red doses. It's red all the doses. same. It's just potato, potato, <laughs> man. A, a, I, 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 I like red doses or just to blue catch doses. <laughs> doses. Well, not brown doses. <laughs> just trying to catch Dave up a little, you know. He wasn't tortured with this uh, the last time like his bandmates were. Well, I'm enjoying it, so, so you know. That's good, yeah. Well, it's enjoyable. There's no doubt about it. Just want to... Warn you on right. what you're hearing. Yeah, I think could I be warned. fake news. Could be. <laughs> could be. I yeah. think I might have been referring to them as Jake Steaks last time. Yeah, I there you don't go. Know. See? See? <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> right. Uh, man, I, you know, I, uh, I'll tell you a, a Jake's Lake thing that I really miss is the old uh, Columbus Day uh, uh, out there. In, uh, well, I think in, at first it was in Benelled at the Coliseum Ballroom, it like was. in the parking lot, kind of, when the building wasn't even really. really. Right. Yeah. And uh, what great shows they, those were. And then uh, then you moved down. Uh, what was the guy's name? My, um, Monk. He went by. You're talking about the... Yeah, uh, when you moved to the farm right, right down the road. Right, Striegel's farm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, a, what a great days you know those mm-hmm. those were awesome parties those man. were great parties and that were in for years and years yeah, every yeah. year yeah it's a blast yeah. the, the first one i went to literally i didn't even know what was going on it was in the it was at the coliseum ballroom i think it was one of the early ones you had out there because i went to several of them out there but I was just driving down Route 4, and I'm like, what in the world is going on over there? (laughs) Check this out. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, Good times there, man. Uh, And then uh, you guys have been doing this since 75. And and at any time, has there ever been, uh, like, we should do something different. <laughs> One would think. Uh, you know, it's interesting. We we did, in the early days, we did play different, a lot of different stuff. Beatles, some, uh, uh, some Stones, some uh, Neil Young, stuff like that. But we got the biggest response from doing the Grateful Dead stuff. So actually the crowd, the audience, slowly sort of, manipulated us gently into <laughs> continuing to do more and more dead and so that yeah. took off and we stayed with the hot hand so it worked out <laughs> but yeah to your point um it's good to mix it up and we've tried uh, but we're still probably 80 percent oh sure playing dead. I, i've heard you do john prine and things like that Absolutely. Angel from montgomery yeah, and, it's a great and I, song I, i've seen you guys cover a lot of stuff i was yeah. just yanking your chain yeah. you know, well no cause... but it's you're right i mean we do our high percentage of what we play is the dead and obviously sure. we enjoy the heck out of it so well we it's keep going the uh, the great thing about uh playing something like that first of all that the, the catalog is is deep uh the grateful dead themselves were were the world's greatest cover band i mean yeah i my first grateful dead shows i went they they didn't play any grateful dead songs you know the old willie dixon stuff all <laughs> right. like the traditional oh, stuff yeah, right they're, they're doing you know all this great music you know uh, bobby fuller i fought the law awesome yep, <laughs> you right. know? but but it really it was i was like wow that was a lot of cover tunes and then you go back and listen to their albums like the first grateful dead album that's a lot of cover tunes yep. so not only is their catalog of what they wrote deep they have this great extensive catalog of, of what they covered uh, as well and then you get into the improv jazz-esque part of it is hey yeah it's it's yeah we played this song last week but play it this time and it's just not the same it's not there it's that's di- right it's different uh, that's, right. that's right another one of the real reasons why we do what we do with the uh, with the specifically with the dead stuff you can mix it up man jam it off if one night you're feeling this way song goes that way another yeah. night song goes that way so. yeah and and that is that was my favorite part of the dead was was you yep. never knew when they started a song how this thing what what track it's going to take where it's going to right. end That's how right. many twists or turns are along the way right. so it made and, it so fun and then 43 minutes later you'd go oh <laughs> wow that was cool that's, that's what they were up to 
Uh, yeah, so there there you go. Uh, again, that's the voice of Mr. Dave Casper. Uh, but how long have you been? You've been since the beginning, right? Since the beginning. Since well, the there was beginning. a couple years there where they were a duo, Randy and a guy named Tim Fay. They were yeah. a duo for a long time. So I stumbled in a couple years later. <laughs> by and large, been there the whole, whole length of the band. Stagger Lee. Stag- staggered on in, and there he was. There you go. There you go. Never left. Uh, there you go. So, man, we are looking forward to today. Uh, Jake's leg returning down to the Mississippi Earth Tones. I, we made up this number for the 17th time. It sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. It sounds right. Uh, and, uh, uh, they uh, they they will be playing. Uh, I, I can't remember what time. I think you're over at ten, so you probably start at at about I would say eight seven thirty eight. Seven thirty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah seven thirty eight. Right. Uh, probably two sets. I would yep, imagine. That's what we'll do. Oh, oh I'm, I'm getting cues for seven o'clock start, a seven p.m. kickoff. There you go. There you go. Somebody <laughs> knows. <laughs> Somebody knows something. And it is not me. <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, that, now the, the the kickoff on the on the entire music. We got a cue on that one. Yep, yeah. Lofty's What's Comet starts off at noon. Oh, seven is the uh, two, twelve to uh, ah. two for Lofty's Comet. Okay. Jason Gordon then follows for an hour, and then nonstop reggae. Gordo again, and then Jake Slake from seven to ten is what go. the uh, website said. Yeah, there you go. I, I don't look at the internet. It's yeah. always talking bad about me, <laughs> lying about me. I don't think I don't think they'll be fact checking uh, on YouTube on how long uh, Jake Legs has been playing. Uh, Mississippi Earth. I don't think they have a record of that. I, I so I, we're good. We can just make whatever number up there. Yeah. 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 Seventy-one <laughs> years. <laughs> 70 wow. One. I like to Man. reverse things. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's make it, uh, you know, all, you know, uh, Illuminati. It's 33 years. 33 <laughs> years they've been playing. It's a magical number. <laughs> I would suggest that uh, people just come to town that weekend and get a room because there are like five or six festivals going on that weekend the, yeah it, it and is they're amazing good amazing how they're many festivals are popping on that weekend all of a sudden so yeah. we well, got bluegrass on the banks going on all bluegrass bands down at the lodge starting at noon all day long lodge at lovejoy and then when i'm 64 beatles fest really is yeah, it that, and that's become a very popular uh huh festival Up for in, people in to Warden, attend yeah yeah and then we got some buddies uh throwing food stock out at uh yeah. cottage hills bfw that's spilly nelson and roaming home and uh lazy lester and then there's the amwar uh rocking for recovery which that's got a you'll understand this one jason it's an almond brothers tribute band you still doing that um i never did an almond brothers tribute i, was, oh, I thought uh, that I was, was what was I, was I was filling in on the base for an eagles tribute. eagles that's right uh, the majority of last year and that was just kind of a temporary thing but it was that was that was very cool yeah. i've never played an eagle song in my life when they approached me and asked me if i'd fill in on bass and i said man i've never played an eagle song in my life they said well you got three weeks to learn all of it before the first show <laughs> you said well, i could do it in two i crammed it all in there man <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was one of them southern rock bands. Yeah, Eagles. I was hoping it was the Almond Brothers. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm sure you played like thousand Almond Brothers songs. Though. I've played some Almond Brothers yeah. through the years, just on my own. Yeah, there probably it was Double Field. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. But let's just say you were Anita Peach back in the day. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm, I'm making up. They're making up. Stuff I'm making anyway. up everything anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's very a, cool though. In three weeks, you were able to put together that. Well, I was the Timothy Eagles Schmidt band. of the of the group so right. i had to learn all the bass parts there and all those go. high high harmonies yes to say you're play, you're holding the low end of Kudos. the instrumentation and the high end of the, the vocals end, there. Yeah. yeah so that was a there's a spectrum of the whole thing there man yeah that was, but but that's a that was a, a, a high profile type gig where they're putting you in jets and flying you around the country kind of well yeah that was all handled through a, a major entertainment company and at, they're based out of arizona and so i mean they they played big venues they didn't really book bar gigs they they, they did casinos and resort gigs and different things right. with big stages so that it was an opportunity uh that i had not experienced as far as traveling around the country uh and uh, and playing on these big stages you know and that was cool you know yeah. and i I, I, I've never disliked the Eagles' music. It just I was always more of a deadhead. You know, there I was always go. if I was going to learn a song, it was usually a dead tune. Right, you know? right. Saw a deadhead uh, sticker on a Cadillac, yeah. saying right, "Don't well, look back." Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Had, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> a little Don Henley there. Yeah. That's right. yeah. How long's your ponytail now, Don? <laughs> Don't tell me who to vote for. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep eating awesome. peyote and writing cool songs. Yeah, <laughs> man, just stick to what you're good at. Right? That's right. <laughs> right. 
Oh, so there you go. The, and you still doing the? No, no, that's over. Them? That's uh, that once their bass player was ready to come back, I, you know, yeah, I was done with yeah, that. And, yeah. And I was glad to be. It was fun to do. I was glad when it was done. I was glad to go back to doing my own thing too. That was. Uh, I don't want to say disruptive of yeah. what I do, but it, it took uh, a lot of shuffling around, you know, sure. to, to make that all work, you know. Right. You're was on. that a but year it was a, ago? It was a cool experience. A year ago you were on with us talking about that? Was that a previous yeah, one? Yeah, that would have been last year. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the majority of last year that we uh, that I was doing that, yeah. And uh, did you make it to Sturgis? Oh, yeah. This year? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we really cool. I like to Sturgis. bring that up. Yeah, Sturgis is always a party, man. Did you, you see know. anything there? Did I see anything? Yeah. Oh, I saw lots of things. Yeah. <laughs> some things were seen, some things were a little scary. So I saw some things I, some wish, things I, I wish I could unsee. Yeah, yeah, you can't unsee. There's things you just can't unsee. Man. But uh, it's all part of it. You know? <laughs> a lot of body paint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a, few, a few bodies that should have had some paint they on. They should have put another coat on, you know. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but man Sturgis is fun and uh with Sturgis I mean it's something it's definitely something to see you know you gotta I think everybody should go check out Sturgis uh at, at some point if, if they've never been just because it's such a party how many know? year uh, how many years you've been doing that now you've done uh, that a few years now. I think we've done it six years minus yeah. the COVID we didn't travel for right. in 2020 but mm. uh aside from COVID uh 2020 there I think it's been six years that we've been doing Sturgis yeah and, and and so now that you know you you're there you've been there you're like one of the guys can you actually walk up as they're painting the bodies and say hey you should use a little filler on them wrinkles <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> missed, you missed a spot right here little bondo <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah. I I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not sorry <laughs> uh, uh, so there you go what uh, what are the gigs you got while you're in town other than um, earth tones well see Friday this Friday I'm at uh, Bluff City nice and uh, just so I know, I got the right info here. <laughs> Seven to eleven this Friday. Uh, Saturday, I've got a, a private uh, event. Uh, but then next Friday, the sixteenth, I will be out at the Litchfield Bowl in Litchfield from eight to twelve. Uh, the seventeenth, of course, is a uh, you know the Mississippi Air Tones. Um, the 18th another private event i've been getting a lot of those uh, around the country just playing like people's parties and different things uh, it's amazing how many people i meet in phoenix that are you know kind of snowbirds or what have you you know that will come for the season but then they have homes in different various parts of the country when they find out i do as much traveling as i do they'll they'll book me to come and play their in their yard or whatever you know that's awesome so a lot of that kind of stuff um He's but anyway a traveling stripper don't let him fool you <laughs> these uh, private events are him that's showing where the real money's at but uh, you know. <laughs> I play a little guitar too. <laughs> a, just as long as he's got your priorities. Yeah. Oh, I, you, you should see it. His best move is he's just standing there with just the, nothing but the guitar in front of him and his cowboy hat on. But somehow he spins the guitar with no strap. It's like it's the impressive. cutaway. It's the yeah. cutaway, man. It's, I use it as a pivot point. Uh, so um, I got to see this. <laughs> once going. you see it, once you, you like you said, man. Some things you can't unsee. <laughs> it's like the bride and the burrow show, man. You think you want to see it now? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> You just kind of feel bad for everybody involved at the end of it all. That poor Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't look like he enjoyed that at all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But uh, then Monday the 19th, I'll be out at the, uh, at the Prairie Inn there in Dorsey from 6 to 9. Uh, 24th, another private thing. Uh, the September 26th, the following Monday again, the Prairie Inn, 6 to 9. And then on the 30th, I'll be over at Merrimack Jacks in Valley Park across the river here from 8 to 11. Nice, nice. I think that pretty much, yeah. And then, then back on the road again. Yep, and then we'll be heading down to uh, southern Missouri and Arkansas and, and, and doing moving, the rounds. Keeping the wheels rolling, you know. Yeah, do the yeah. rounds till you get back to Phoenix. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just to start it all over again. Yep, yep. Hit the ground running when we get home. Yeah. You busy. You gotta push Early. a little further. <laughs> yeah, gotta keep awesome. it going. Yeah. Gotta get home and feed my rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> is that a euphemism? <laughs> it could be. Oh, oh. You, you got a million of them, man. I, I like you. Just trying to figure out what we're talking about, man. That's a, that'll be a mystery of the evening here. That's right. what, what I meant by that. Uh, don't, if you go to his website, there's a video, but you're going to want to scrub your browser, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is not for everybody. Uh, oh, man. There you we go. were looking at pictures of his feet earlier. Oh, that's right. Online. The rest ah. of it was superimposed, but those were my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> right. No, you don't. Uh, who so there you go. That's uh, you. <laughs> the voice of Mr. Jason Gordon, the amazing one-man band doing a little stint in town while he's here. I'm, so, I'm Friday sure. night. 
Yeah, yeah. Friday closest Bluff. one, right? Yeah, Bluff yep. City Grill. Bluff City tomorrow. You Just you. As far as I know, yep. I'd invite the whole family up like yeah. you do from time to time. Well, you know, I'd love to do that too, but I, I don't know. We'll see how things work. I think it would just be me for this time, yeah. You could do one at a time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just pass the in. I got enough instruments. We'll just pass yeah. them out. Yeah. When you, the last time you did that down there uh, outside, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Seeing oh, all yeah. you know, there You guys 20, ran sound. You guys, that was awesome. 20, 30 people took the stage over the night. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, just people kept coming up. I didn't know where Chris Shoemaker showed up. Hey, I'm sitting in on a song. All right, get up there. Let's that was the last line. minute. The rest <laughs> of it was all pre planned. We were trying to get the kids involved, you know, yeah. which was something that my Uncle Dave, everybody, yeah. everybody that knows us and our family knows that Uncle Dave was kind of the cornerstone of the music in our in our childhoods and he's the reason that i played and traveled to this day you know and he's passed on now but uh, uh i think in his passing he p- kind of passed me the torch of helping the, the younger generation keep the flame a- alive there playing music so you know i've got nieces and nephews and young kids are around our family and stuff that are playing so that was kind of the idea there was to get these kids up on stage and let them be in front of an audience and play yeah. and you know so we put together a string section we had a, a kid playing saxophone with us that we worked with and, and yeah. put that together and yeah it was a it was a it was a a lot of work, man, to sl- to put that much, that big of a production together in about a week's time. But at the at, by the by the time it was said and done, man, it, it turned out really good. Oh yeah, it, you know, it, it was it great. Was, it was impressive. Awesome. It was yeah. fun to watch the family band, and then uh, <clears throat> it was there happened to be a Harvest Moon that night. You guys right. played Neil Young's Harvest Moon, and. You told me it was the kid's idea. It was, was my – Jared, my brother Jared, it was his son Jacob who Jake, suggested nice. that nice. the evening before the gig. He goes, you know, it's a harvest moon. I didn't even realize. I'm oblivious. I don't know where I'm at half the time. And uh, <laughs> he said, you know, it's a harvest moon. He's like, we should do that. And I thought, man, how cool for a young kid, teenager, to, to suggest that song, yeah, you know, right. the night before the show. So right. we just kind of slapped it together in my mom's basement there and, and pulled it out of the – out of the vault there at the last minute it works <laughs> out of the know? wazoo we can yeah. say it <laughs> yeah vault wazoo you know all that right. stuff the great wazoo <laughs> uh, hey let's go over some other stuff going on friday night uh, yeah. a d butt show right all right oh wait that's debut the, 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 uh, what? yeah right. the, the divine the divine march and that's uh josh grassley's new uh project will debut down at the conservatory they'll have uh, 1781 sacrifice the sacred and brave new world with them starting at 7 30 at the conservatory friday always got the pianos going on at bridge and cajun dan calliker and company uh and up all night doing fast eddies on friday rogers and neen house at bakers and hale soul shine yeah. groove at the uh, locks brick house in bethalto <coughs> south side bluesy boys at the moose and wood river up the wild e albert cummings gonna be uh in town and uh, let's see also in edwardsville butch moore doing the stagger in again friday night and he's always doing his open mic on sundays up there charles glenn will be at the 1818 <laughs> chop house in edwardsville and they're about to celebrate their 10th anniversary there nice dave horton uh at the moose in edwardsville and cross the line at the cabin at judy creek and glenn carbon all friday lickety split at patrick's in granite city worth the fight at tegan's pub in granite city dimly lit doing the fish fry down in collinsville <laughs> on friday night and uh up in jerseyville they're gonna have a little block party on friday night all right rock they're the gonna, block yeah they're gonna block off that uh intersection right there uh, by georgia's local brew nice and the owls are going to take the stage from there six to go. ten that'll be good then down in grafton we've got catfish willie at the bloody bucket saloon friday evening we've got uh robert perry band at the loading dock denver way trents at aries winery and uh, that's it for grafton uh short list usually for grafton they uh, come on guys get with it well i think their fridays are <laughs> starting to uh wind things down wind with the down, weather yeah. changing yeah. and uh you know just making sure that they can get something going on on the weekends yeah, for sure now so uh yeah and then what where we left Grab- we okay so bunker we got, hill yeah. uh screaming eagle jam band at the fall fest uh mm-hmm. red's sage house that's in bunker hill and then of course the experience live music row up in belleville as we've been talking about yeah and our friends feel doing a uh, benefit songs for soldiers oh yeah my and, friend uh, helps put that together my friend Teresa Hendrick well, we should have yeah. had her on I yeah we should or maybe Everclear yeah or stir all right right because <laughs> they're gonna be there that'd be cool yeah. to open for right yeah there tonic you go. the other yeah. band along with field six o'clock at the city park that's down in Columbia I'd like to have an Everclear and tonic and could you please stir it right <laughs> that's what I'm reading that's, that's, that's what I'm the seeing lineup. Everclear tonic and stir <laughs> 
and then feel. So if, <laughs> if, if you, do you give feel? me some ever clear tonic and stir it, I will feel just fine. <laughs> uh, see, it's all working together here, man. Yeah, that, that soul, uh, Songs for Soldiers, a great benefit, too, where the money uh, goes to veterans. And uh, that's uh, Columbia, Missouri, right? Yeah, but, yeah down in Columbia. There I just go. wanted to mention that because uh, yeah, the guys from Peel sent the invitation out and uh, always a good cause. Yeah. So uh, yeah, definitely mention that one. That's a road tripper on Friday if you want to get down to Columbia. It's just down 255, not yeah. too bad. No, it's a, it's a nice, easy, easy drive. Easy peasy. All right, so that takes us to Saturday. What What's happening in the uh, area Saturday? Uh, well, we got accidentally yeah. on purpose. Uh, yeah. They are playing at Shane, Maryland, 8 p.m. on Saturday. We got City Heat Band at Chubby's. Go down and get yourself a Chubby Burger if they have one. Just ask them for a Chubby. I'll know what you mean. Uh, we got Distant Eyes, Ian Whitmore, 86 Red, Weed Tooth. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. And Daisy Chain. They're all going to the conservatory this Saturday evening. So that's uh, starting at 8.30 p.m. So that'll be an all-night event. Naked Soul, 2 to 6 p.m. And then up all night, 7.30 to 11.30 down at Fast Eddie's. And then all the frog flippers are heading out to Baker's and Hale to check out Flip the Frog going 7 to 11 on Saturday night. Another festival uh, this weekend out at the uh, VFW and Cottage Chills. Lucky Cowboy presents Nashville on tour with Keith Burns, Tommy Carlos oh, yeah, playing yeah, in right town, on. Jamo Fox and the Desert Okies. <laughs> Rayla Ray and uh, let's see what's the next one yeah. Cal I don't know Calista Calista Minton yeah Melissa Lee I can handle that All Luther right. Lewis and Francel <laughs> and Burning Bridges. That's all, right. all at the VFW and Cottage Hills. There you go. Uh, good uh, Tommy Carlos uh, yeah. on the show with us. Uh, heck of a songwriter there. He is. Uh, what's he on? Like his Sony Music, right? Yeah, yeah. He got yeah, he got hooked up to Sony last time we talked to him. And that like was like his, his tenth tenth label he's worked with <laughs> <laughs> writing songs. I think you doubled so. it, but yeah, it's ah, he's, whatever. He's <laughs> four or five uh, times been signed. How about that? Wow, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one's hard enough. Yeah, <laughs> right. He just gets a d- new deal each time. That's awesome. Hey. Out of Wood River, yeah, Mr. Tommy Carlos, right? All right. Also, we've got Audio Distilled. That's happening at the Blue Stem Distillery in Meadowbrook at, uh, featuring Joe Sparks this Saturday, 7, no, 4 to 7, not 7, 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, and then in Wood River at Martin's Tunes and Eats, we got Lindsay Wolford and Power Trip. So that's a double header. Uh, Lindsay Wolford going at 2 p.m. and then Power Trip firing it up at 8 p.m. down at the old Martin's Tunes and Eats. Infringement will be playing at the Pump House in Wood River. Take a pocket full of quarters and play some pinball while you're there. Uh, about 100 pinball machines in that place now, I think. Boom Slang is doing it at the Hog Pit in Grafton on Saturday, 2 to 6. Trag Band's going 3 to 7 at the Grafton Winery. Exit, Exit 52, 7 p.m. at the Grafton Oyster Bar. Trying to save you flipping pages there, sorry. No, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm quick, man. <laughs> you I'm are fast. Quick. You are quick. <laughs> Jim Bergman, 8 o'clock at the Bloody Bucket Saloon in Grafton on Saturday. Soulard Blues Band uh, doing it at the Loading Dock at 5 o'clock. Mr. John Monden there. Derek Moore, 12 to 3, and Dan Spro 3 to 7 at Aries. Outlaw Opry, 2 to 6 at the Longshot Tiki Bar in Portage to Sioux. Uh, before I get through this list, Gordo's probably going to book a gig on Saturday by then. That's how hard he works. <laughs> Actually, his wife does that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does so, that happen sometimes? You go do something, you come home, it's like, oh, I do have another gig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that happens regularly. She's a slave driver, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not wife yet, man, but soon to be. We're gonna, oh, yeah. We're actually, I, I uh, slipped, didn't I? We're, we're getting married uh, on the 23rd of this month. Congrats. Actually, yeah, yeah. It, it feels like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we've been engaged for a decade, so, yeah. so yeah. you know, she hasn't told me to get lost yet, really, so... Yeah. It's not that engaged for decades, not even that bad. It went by in the blink of an eye, man. I've been on my starter marriage for 22 years. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and you're playing a a critical role in our 
upcoming wedding too. <laughs> that, that's that's uh, that's your fault, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and I'm glad that I'm glad it worked out, man. I don't know why it was in my head when we started talking about uh, who who we would have a uh, perform it, you know. And for some reason, you popped in my head, and I I don't know why or what. Colleen had the same thought. She thought, well, yeah, it seems like maybe he has been ordained maybe he does that maybe it's just because you're such a you know a personality you know you, you do the radio show and you know you you're so outgoing and stuff so we i reached out to you and you uh you got on it man and, and got yourself ordained and we're we're honored to have you man hey, i'm honored to do it uh, i will do my best never performed a wedding before we'll see how it goes we will see how it goes uh, at the end of it you should be legally married well, that's, that's all, all i can that promise <laughs> that matters that's all that matters <laughs> Uh, so, there you go. That is uh, that's gonna be, you know, and it's it's a payback because you played at my wedding. Yeah, I did. It was yeah. back in the uh, that was twenty twenty two years ago, Ooh, whatever. Back payback, in the Stubblefield yeah. days. It's a payback so. or revenge? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't know until I'm there. Yeah, right. I won't, we won't. That won't become apparent until later. <laughs> but I'm sure you can tell by my evil the pyramid of contemplation. Yeah. <laughs> can I Tom, come? <laughs> you're welcome to come. It's going to be a show. Uh, good times will be had by all. So there you go. Uh, what else we got going on? The um, Hangovers, 9 o'clock at the Back Bar in Edwardsville on Saturday. Dave Horton at Big Daddy's. Lanny and Julie at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. Roger and Brian doing the Goshen Market in Edwardsville. And Soul Shine Grew at the Legion. <laughs> Drinking at the Legion. That's right. Uh, with uh, with bubbles and the, uh, I can't say the rest of his that, band, can that, I? That's okay. I've been talking poop all week. <laughs> well, it's not a good thing, trust me. That barbecue didn't go well for me. I ended up with food poisoning. Uh-huh. And if you've ever had that, man, oh my. Yeah, so, you know. I, I had it a lot. My wife keeps trying to get rid of the starter marriage. <laughs> yeah. Why am I sick again? It tastes like Clorox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's so, slow dosing you, man. Yeah, be careful, bro. Right. Uh, that's all right. I've been keeping her drunk for 22 years. We've all got our plans. Uh, so, you, know. Uh, you know, the best part about all that is when you finally release, like, a nice dry fart. And you're like, oh, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Thank God. Now, see, you guys are Popcorn. laughing because you know I'm right. Uh, you're yeah, waiting yeah. for that moment, right? Oh, well, you know. It's, finally. It, finally. I mean, <laughs> finally. Some relief. The worst part was carrying the bucket around in the uh, trailer, you know. So uh, when I'm out mowing, you're out mowing. You know, I had to mow like 25 yards in two it days is, like that. that and, yeah, you know, yeah. what well, am I going to do, put them off? <laughs> you know? See, wow. you, you can always, instead of ter- taking the bucket, you can just hook a, hook a bag onto your belt. Yeah. Use the bag method. I'm just I saying. thought of that later, man. I should have just went depends, but I didn't want to get that nasty with it. It was nasty <laughs> enough. And I'll tell you what, the, the, the biggest part of it that cracked me up. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, so I'm in the back of a trailer, right? And I realized how comfortable a toilet is because I'd have to squat down like a catcher stand back up it's and you fine. know how it is as soon as you stand back up you're like oh okay yeah. back down <laughs> so i just like 10 times and i'm sweating bullets i'm like this is the hardest workout i've put in in forever <laughs> man next day my thighs are burning you know i'm like i'm in enough pain already now i've worn myself out oh trying my to God. <laughs> he's doing yoga <laughs> yeah sorry oh. so so that oh, lacks my no comedy yoga, man. tonight man I, i'm out of yeah. energy that, you're fine <laughs> it's all expended it's yeah. all been expended uh, i'm glad yeah. you're covering me oh i, I for I, some I, reason i didn't know if that would happen since no, the depends weren't <laughs> you worked it in <laughs> uh, yeah well, what do they say if the colostomy bag fits no i don't know right. if that's a saying <laughs> the worst part was having, <laughs> i had to I had to rinse that bucket out every time too i mean oh my We've got some good fertilizers <laughs> spread around town though he, he's he's <laughs> Oh, he's, 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 doing he's, well. like, right. he's like cousin eddie on vacation <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, over at the storm drains oh my gosh, oh my gosh. man oh, I knew oh, here. and i'll be honest with you i laughed the entire time as miserable as it was it, it was comical well, yeah, that's why i'm telling laugh. the story yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. and that's where the joke hit me you know the best part about this is is that one time when it's nice and dry <laughs> you're like whoa thank god how many of you we're on the upside yeah so the <laughs> well, this couple. conversation took a strange <laughs> turn <laughs> i wonder what's going on <laughs> so I, there you go I, 
talking poop well, on Riverbend yeah, Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brought to you by Hoppin Music. <laughs> <laughs> Formerly brought to you by Hoppin. Right. They're on yeah. the phone right now. Even Matt V's out now, man. Something, <laughs> something tells me there's some listeners agreeing with me 100%. You know, there are a lot of barbecues last weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They had to find meat somewhere. Yeah. You know how groceries are these yeah. days. Uh, oh, man. And yeah. I heard some horror <laughs> stories about, you so know, So 73% butchers. burgers. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. Uh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, thanks, wow. Jason. Appreciate uh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would be feeling better if we get back to what's happening here because I'm not sure where to go with this. It's only, <laughs> right. it's only going to go downhill. Right. Yeah, I'm I setting mean, him up. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's Tom great. Tom Bertolino is where we were. So, speaking of barbecue, Edley's barbecue. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a good promotion at all for them. I'm sorry. We need sponsors, <laughs> Big Man. Come on. <laughs> Tom Bertolino, 7 to 11 at the Cabin at Judy Creek on Saturday. Flip side of Hooch and 16 and Granite on Saturday. Showdown. Down at Patrick's and Granite, Melissa Joan Heartless, nine o'clock at <laughs> Tegan's Pub in Granite. She thinks she's got some sad songs. I, I, if she's a really happy poppy person, I would suggest she changes her. And if it's mm. K-pop, it doesn't fit. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, here's the one I was uh, hoping to get to for sure right, tonight right, because this is a big deal. All right, celebration of life for uh, Doit Paragon oh, yeah. uh, from Doit's Village Inn. Uh, founder of that place uh and man what a cool venue we were talking about dave and i about dives yeah. you know the best dives around he went down to mike's 10 pin and experienced oh, yeah. a little mike's 10 pin it's like you so know dope. so i was telling him some stories about that and Deutz is very similar yeah they got listeners at Deutz. you know some bars you play and you're kind of part of what's going on you play Deutz, the fans pay attention and they respond to everything you do and and you guys Getting know is as musicians, that's the best venues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When they, you got listeners. You got people Absolutely. dancing on the table at a place like that. You yeah. know, I mean, they're, they're, they're having a hoedown. <laughs> and, and they're not they're not dancing on a table because the scratcher just paid off. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's because the music is, is, is happening. And, uh, yeah, so, so they're going to do it like you do, Gordo. They're just going to invite people to show up nice. and s- jump in. Right, okay. kicking off with Scott and Michelle, our friends will be at Bramley Vest, right? Absolutely, they will be. And uh, it starts at two o'clock, and then uh, I'm sure there'll be guys like Ed Belling and uh, maybe Pick and Lickin', some of the guys from Hicktown, like yeah. Rock Bottom, probably Jeremy Drake. Those are guys who usually play, play there. Oh, so yeah. I'm just guessing. You oh, know, yeah. those are the guys. Pat Liston, he was he was a guy who played. Pat down might there. show up, but yeah. you know he works so hard. He's probably down in Missouri somewhere playing or whatever. You yeah. know. He, Danny Liston's the hard-working one, trust me. Speaking of that, the Liston brothers sold out the pageant. Nah, oh, good for them. Right, good and they're them. adding a second show. Excellent. Good for them. Man. That'd be good. That, hey, I tell you what, if you haven't, I, you know, the Liston brothers, I'm sure it's <clears throat> basically a, sort of a mama's pride issue got, uh, going on here, but with uh, uh, Skunk Baxter passing away i think they just maybe don't want to use the mama's pride name he was one of the original members i'm not sure i haven't talked to either one of them to, to, that's just my guess at what's going on with that but man what a great show those, those guys put on yeah they've done the listen brothers things a few times yeah so yeah, yeah that's been several years now they've there done that from time to time we missed a few years in there we won't bring up why <laughs> We will bring up Jamie Lynn Wilson, 7 o'clock, at the uh, Old Square in Collinsville. It's a ticketed event, 15 bucks general admission, a $200 VIP uh, admission for that one as well. That's and that's a four-person four table, yeah. yeah. yeah and know. that's that new venue down there in Collinsville that I was telling you about. It's an outdoor place, uh, beautiful-looking facility. There's, like, little uh, areas that are, like, balconies that overlook the stage. And, uh, nice. yeah, they, they've set it up nice. Yeah, they're trying to compete with Belleville in their live music row. Well, they're trying to compete with Mike's 10-pin, I'm sure, you know. (laughs) (laughs) On on a Sunday night, you can't do it. Not not when the Mondin band was playing. I was going to say, when when, when Mondin was I think they just play pool now. Well, you know. Yeah, so... All right, what else we got? Andrew Dahl is uh, 8 to 11 p.m. Saturday at the Red Bar in Collinsville. Kirk Copeland going 3 p.m. at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey. Four plays 6 to 10 at wild pickens winery in chesterfield then of course the live music row with a whole bunch of bars whole bunch of bands yeah. and then rock bottom at the charlac pub in st louis that is your saturday evening and we are sitting here talking with dave casper of jake's leg and jason gordon of gordo <laughs> <laughs> okay 
yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. Tell, tell us about who are the other members of Gordo. Well, there, the drummers, it, he's just a mess. He owes people money all over town. You know, <laughs> never shows up on time, you know. Right, right. There's a bass player, never tunes anything, you know. <laughs> A lot, a lot of drama in this one oh, band. Oh, it's ridiculous. Band. It's a soap uh, opera, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jerry Springer. Uh, I, I've actually seen Jason arguing with himself. No, I don't want to play that song. <laughs> but we got to play it. The crowd wants to hear That's it. That's what they want. <laughs> right. Got to play it to the crowd. No, I don't. <laughs> Do what I want. Oh, and for man. those not for sure, what we're talking about, Jason, the one-man band, plays all the instruments himself, gets a loop going, right? Yep, and do it all through the loop pedals and just kind of build the whole song from the ground up. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, there you go. And, and fun, fun to watch somebody uh, put that together because it's. You're rooting for him to drop one of them. I mean, yeah. no. Well, you know, I think <laughs> I'm kind of almost, I'm almost rooting for that myself just because I mean, it's. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. the whole demolition derby thing, you know? You don't want him to crash. <laughs> yeah, I'm only yeah. kidding. No yeah. one wants yeah. that to happen, but, you know, there's it so much. It doesn't happen often, but once in a while. So man. much that could happen is. Oh, is, it could derail. Is the thrill of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the looping. It's uh, very sensitive. Yeah, you know. If I mess something up, you're going to hear it every time it comes around. It's not know. like you have people <laughs> handing you the instrument like no. you know, big stars. No, no, nobody's handing me. i got to spin around and grab it. It's a race against time, man. i got to go from this guitar to that guitar by the time the loop comes around. Otherwise, it's... It uh, doesn't quite sound right. No, it's not yeah. right. You know. yeah. Put that down and grab the bass. Now, yeah. now hit the drums. I love the new drums you got, too. Oh, They're yeah, thank you. Yeah, cool. Well, and the whole the whole new stage setup, that was kind of my... That was my COVID su- shutdown project you know i needed something so i didn't lose my mind and colin kill me you know so i was uh, uh something i'd kind of visualized for a while is how can i reincorporate all these guitars that i've had some of them since well some of them even before i was around some of them belonged to my uncle dave you know maybe before i was even born i don't know right. but uh so i've got all these guitars and you know they hung on the wall for so long and uh that this this was my way of you know with the trussing around me and everything so now i've got 10 guitars hanging in a circle around me added the drum kit the new keyboards and another loop pedal so it's a it's quite an elaborate setup compared to what it was two or three years ago now but uh, you ever grab the wrong guitar constantly yeah Yeah. (laughs) well and they're all wireless too so i got to remember which one the wireless plugs are plugged into and make sure i'm switching between oh, songs wow. so like so that i've got the right guitar so it's a it's a lot to keep track of yeah. it'd be a lot easier it's way too much thinking it's a lot of thinking yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i gotta stay three steps ahead of myself I, I would need a personal assistant up there to remind me what to right. do next either that or i'll be looking at my phone uh, i'm supposed to grab this guitar here yeah. Yeah. and it says don't change the plug in uh, yeah. i'll be with you people in yeah, a minute yeah. just <laughs> listen to the drum beat for talk, a second talk amongst yourselves <laughs> i'll be back right yeah uh, that doesn't happen you just mm-hmm. One after the other, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, it's, uh, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. definitely a work in progress. It, it, it's a workout in progress. How it is a workout. It's How a workout. How many years of work now? Oh, uh, with the looping, I think I was 22 when I yeah. a friend of mine up in Grafton here had a, a pedal that did looping, and I had never seen that technology. And when it when it dawned on me what it was doing, that it was recording in real time, and that I could loop what I just did, and it was a basically a boomerang effect. It was instantly playing back what what I just did, and it was like you know it just kind of a light clicked in my head, and I thought, man, I could I could build a show out of that, man. That that would be cool, you know. Yeah. And that was the beginning, I think, of the of that uh, adventure, you know, that's been going on now for a little over 20 years yeah <laughs> so we got both you guys here dave from jake's leg and gordo you're both playing mississippi earth tones mm-hmm. on the uh, 17th of uh september <clears throat> and that's at the amphitheater now right yeah 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 and uh so you're gonna play any dead tunes i mean you guys might want to work that out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. We, will, we do need to talk. About That's that. actually not a bad idea. Yeah. No, I'll leave the dead tunes to these guys. I'll, uh, I'll I'll find some other stuff. To okay, do. you can play Fire in the Mountain, but I get Franklin's Tower, man. <laughs> the barter for what songs we're playing. Yeah. I don't even want Franklin's Tower. Just give me Scarlet Begonias. <laughs> yeah, we like to have band meetings on this show. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we've had a few spontaneous band meetings, a few spontaneous band, band fights, fights. <laughs> on this show. So, yeah, small ones. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we, we we haven't been able to get a band to break up on the air yet, but we've tried. The wrestling no. fights were real. <laughs> yeah. We never faked that. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, I wish it would have been more fake than what it was. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I, I digress. Up, you bloodied from up that. the judge, man. I am still sorry to this we day for harming anybody. Bloodied up the judge. Ever. <laughs> Yeah, him and the judge got into it and rolled it all the way out to the street. And uh, no, he was trying to hold up the momentum of them doing this. And it's all on camera. It's pretty interesting to watch. Oh, wow. And he's, 
it looks like he throws him flat down on the concrete, but it was just him losing his mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> and so he goes to help the guy, right? The judge, and he's just like, "Don't worry about it, man. It's real. It's real." <laughs> you know, like they're used to that stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it didn't phase him one bit. Except wow. he's never been back on the show, so I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> but it phased him. He was feeling horrible. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I try to keep things together with the guys in my band here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But my so my civil. wife took one look at the video and said, "That's." Abuse of an elderly person. <laughs> and and I, I asked her, I said, well, will you defend me if it goes to court? And she said, absolutely not. That's horrible. <laughs> I defend you. <laughs> like, there's besides, video evidence. <laughs> I'm not going to win. Besides, he's a judge. He's a, he's a judge. How we get, here come the judge. Here come the judge. Everybody get up because here come the judge. <laughs> all right. So, good time. All right. Well, so there there we go. That is, uh, uh, yeah, that was, that was some good time. But uh, again, we are talking to Dave Casper, uh, for, first time on the show. Thanks for thanks for making the drive down. Thanks absolutely, for hanging out. Absolutely, it's uh, been a pleasure. Can I mention a few gigs? We're yes, we're mention them yeah, all, yeah, yeah. please. Take your time and <laughs> mention doing, them all. I'll do it quick. I promise. Uh, uh, I say the like same my thing to my wife here. all the time. It's fine. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I won't go there. <laughs> just like my friend here that I just met, we've got a private gig going on this Friday, and then. Uh, Next week we're doing uh, this really cool uh, gig we've been doing annually. It's the it's at uh, Webster Groves Park. It's the Webster Gazebo Shows. They do a whole series through the summer, so we'll be doing that. And then Earth Tones, obviously, the following day. And then we've got a loading dock gig right here in your neck of the nice. woods. Always a good time there. That's uh, the twenty fourth. That, that, that's a steady thing where Earth Tones is one week and, and loading dock is the very next week. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you down here on Broadway on Saturday. Then I saw you down there Saturday. You know, it's, it's fine. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like it. very like cool. It. Very cool. You like that place playing at the loading dock? Oh yeah, I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love it. Pete's a good guy. He's yeah. the owner. He's a good guy. What else you got going on? We've got this show coming up on the twenty fifth. Um, uh, it's called Recovery Festival. Hmm. It's a bunch of sober folks that put are putting this thing together, trying to help. Uh, help people sort of see the other side of life without drinking drug um and it's going to be a really great event uh, i'm proud to be a part of it uh, it'll be fun nice. wharf rats it's the wharf rats there you go yeah. there yeah. you go yeah where's that where's that at I'm embarrassed to say I don't oh, okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're good. What's it good? What's it going to do to plug that and not okay, be able right. to tell? You know what? You can find it on our website. Yeah, so you can find out where it's. Yeah. I would strongly Jake'sLeg.com. You got that it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's been that a long time. Yeah. And I'd be remiss. You know, there's so many great vendors out there at uh, uh, the Earth Tones Festival. And my my god niece is going to be having uh, a booth out there called nice. Cheeky Wrens. Okay. She makes these awesome bandanas and clothing for pets. Cats and, and cool. cats Beautiful. and dogs. She's oh. a big dog lover, and so maybe if you get a chance, go check out her booth on her. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. She's out there during the day, so. And that's something we failed to mention, all the vendors and all the different things that's going on along with the great music. We just got so into the music. We're just like, yeah. Hey, there's going to be some art down yeah. there. There's yeah. going to be some light spectacles. There's good, there's there's always – it's a festival. There's it gets always. bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it gets yeah, it's bigger awesome. and bigger. And, and yeah. It's well put together. Yeah, yeah, they've so. had, like, hunts and all kinds of yeah, events yeah. for the kids. And, yeah. So what do they call go. them? Treasure hunts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there you so. go, man. Big uh, big fun going on on September 17th down at the amphitheater. It is the, we're going to call it the 18th annual Earth Tones. There you go. Uh, I, I, it's got to be close. It it's got to be close. So there you go. Uh, and, I think and, we're going to find out from Sarah how yeah, close yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. She's going to call you after this and go, uh, Oh, there's already some, there's some messages on my phone already. We'll look at them later, though. We got to wind this, uh, we got to wind this, uh, episode of, uh, Riverbend Town up. Big thanks to our, our guest, Dave Casper from Jake's Leg. Thank you for having uh, yeah, me. Thanks for coming down. Big thanks to Jason Gordon for coming uh, coming on with us for the. Of course, thank you guys. I don't know how many times you've been on with us, but uh, every time you come to town, we'd like to have you on. I'm glad to come down and chat with you guys. <laughs> it's always yeah. entertaining. And thanks for uh, <laughs> listening to my story. <laughs> Love the story. Come on, man. That's a good story. Uh, yeah, <laughs> What's yeah. good about it is real. Well, you know, and, and comedy right. is about yeah. suffering. Yeah. You know, you just right. gotta <laughs> laugh at that. Right? Comedy is not pretty. Right. Uh, never is. I'm gonna prove uh, that yeah. again. All right, so everybody get down to uh, the Earth Tones. Check out Jason Gore. Well, Lofty's Comet playing. 
then Jason Gordon doing a, a set, and then nonstop reggae doing a set, right, and yeah. then Jason Gordon doing another set, and then Jake's leg coming on and finishing the, uh, the night off with two sets there. Going to be good times. Everybody get down and see that. Uh, congratulations to all the people who put that on for get, keeping it going. Uh, big thanks to our sponsors, Halpin Music Company. Uh, been with us like eight years now. Uh, Matt Van Voorst uh, from Macias Insurance been with us just about as long, so they uh, they pay for this to happen. Otherwise, they would not allow us to come in and do right. this every week. <laughs> they would and be talk? like, no, that's not even radio. That's just guys jacking around. <laughs> We're talking poop. On uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the screen, and it says bird poop right there. I'm not it's kidding. Fine. It's fine. I mean, it, how well, can that happen? It, it's, it, it, it's, it's uh, you know, you, you have made it. What do they call that, that? Synchronicity <laughs> or yeah. something? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I I think we call the fifth album by the police synchronicity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, a uh, little, uh, little big thanks to everybody. I start to say little thanks to everybody. No, big thanks to little thanks to you people out there listening. Very little thanks to you. <laughs> big thanks to everybody for tuning in tonight. I uh, hope to see you guys all soon, and everybody get out and support local music and art.